How's it going, guys? It's your boy Big D here. It's time to review Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 2, Episode 15, titled One Door Closes. This is a spoiler review. If you've not seen the episode, go to abc.com slash Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Watch the full episode there, or get out on Netflix, man. It's been four months since this episode's been released. Uh, let's get right to it. Just take me less than two minutes to recap the episode. Give me my pros and cons and final score. Uh, if you're watching this... My Terminator Genesis review should be up already, or at least if you're if you're watching this like right when I uploaded it, or the week, this week that I uploaded it, July 1st area, it should be up, guys. Just gotta say that. Uh, let's get right to it. So there's a flashback where Mac and he's on this boat with Gonzalez and all them, and this is when Captain America: The Winter Soldier is going down. This is when everything's going crazy. Hydra's revealed himself, and Bobby and Isabella. Um, I totally forgot the actress's name, I'm so sorry. Xena, I believe Xena Warrior. Uh, she's there, so all of them are there, and they save Mac, and they save uh, S.H.I.E.L.D., basically. That's their whole goal, is let's save S.H.I.E.L.D., and Gonzalez is injured. Now, Coulson confronts Mac in present day, and he basically knows that, you know, he's hiding something, and basically the real S.H.I.E.L.D., how he's compromised. Uh, May is after Bobby, and she has the cube, so it's a little cat fight going down. Wow. There's a flashback where the ship, of course, Gonzalez is injured, I already said that. This guy's in the cabin, and she she finds out that the wooden walls are actually padded, like a cell padded, when she takes out the wood. So there's a big fist there. Luke Cage reference? I think not. But, uh, yeah, the big fist, man. Gordon arrives because he has no eyes and everything. And he kind of talks like Vin Diesel. And he's like, I can't do it. Hey, guy. You have power. Like, you know, that whole, like, hey, Yes, you can do it. You know, it's like that type of uh, talk. I, I really suck at it, but Gordon arrives and he gives her tips basically. Simmons stops Bobby. Um, oh yeah, that was pretty good. Like she puts like two like batteries in her hand, and, like shocks her, and she falls down. The real shield attacks Coulson's base, and Max saves Fitz. That was a really heroic moment, to be honest. The real shield is after Sky. There's a flashback where they don't destroy the ship. They were gonna destroy the ship. That was their goal, but they're gonna fight back and take back the helicarrier. Pretty cool. So Sky uses her powers, man, that moment, the effects, dude, when uh, the guy from S.H.I.E.L.D. and Bobby was like, Magneto that bitch. No, it didn't hit him in the head, but like, yeah, that was pretty freaking awesome when the trees are everywhere and it just explodes and Kevin Smith is jerking off in the corner. I mean, it's seriously amazing. So, um, basically, Coulson escapes, May helps him, and May is captured by Gonzalez and the Real Shield at the base. Coulson's going to be on his way to uh, Tahiti, I believe. Yes, he's on his, no, not Tahiti, he's on his way at a beach and everything, so he's chilling at the end, man. Overall, what did I think about the episode, you guys? Let me get started with my cons first, just to get that out of the way. The, uh, the fighting choreography. Not all fighting choreography is bad, but just in this specific episode, it's like we've seen it a million times. May and other women fight. We've seen it a thousand times where it's just the, uh, oh, choreographed, jump over onto the sofa, ah, uh, oh, hair pulling, ah, uh, ah, uh, slap, slap, oh, gut to, you know, fist to the gut. Oh, she's down for five seconds. She's running. Oh, she throws something. It's the same choreography we've seen over the past two seasons. It's just boom, boom, jump over this. Okay, land on table. It's literally, what about just happen to be like boom, 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 block, block, fight, fight, boom, boom, instead of just like rolling around the room. You know what I'm saying? It's just, I guess when I was watching, I was just like, really? It's the same shit. It's, it's, I'm not gonna lie. It's the same stuff. It was just this episode. The other episodes are fine, but just for this time. Uh, the ending, Lance and the Umbrella type of thing, because literally Lance comes up to Coulson at this, because uh, he lands, I guess, because he, last episode he escaped Mac in Bobby's custody. He's like, what do we do now, mate? And they're basically going to team up together. I mean, they're going to fight against the real shield and everything, or at least fight to get back to their way there, because they're in hiding. And I'm thinking to myself... You're gonna, it's like a post credit scene when they showed it, like, you know, S.H.I.E.L.D. will be back in a moment, and then they show that, and I'm like, that's not really a scene to leave off on. I mean, Hunters with Coulson, they work together on the same team. How is this a big deal? How is that a, to tease us for next week? That's not nothing new. It's just, okay. 
you could have teased us with something better, you know? So. I just gotta be serious, guys. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm just gonna be straight up. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. Just gonna go right through it because it's a four-month-old episode, man. Come on. Gonzalez is not really... He's not really there to me. I mean, Gonzalez is really... He's, he's not leader material to me. Okay, he's old. He has a cane. He has a mustache. He's Hispanic. Or Mexican. I'm Hispanic, so it, it, it's one of those. Oh my gosh. He's not really leader material. He's just... Not of his race or his oldness, but he's just... Look at him. He's not nothing. I mean, he's not there. I don't like Gonzalez. I don't like him. It just, it's just he's a bad vibe to me. And it's also slow with the maxing. Some of the maxings in here are really slow, and he just he bullshits his way with Coulson all the time. All the time he has to lie or something. And yeah, and, and, and when Coulson's talking to Bobby and everything, here, here Mac is looking at Bobby because he has to, like, stop looking and do your own thing. Stop freaking every episode you have to, like, look at someone. Stop eavesdropping enough like it's really annoying but again the maxi when he saves fits that really proves something and that was really cool but those are my cons now the pros uh even though i said the fighting choreography the action in here because there is a few uh gun gun scenes in here and uh again the action with sky that whole scene was freaking amazing dude sky's powers and gordon showing up even gordon uh gordon telling her you know some uh prophecies and everything not really prophecies but telling her the ways uh, I do like the flashbacks and the Winter Soldier references. I think the Winter Soldier references were really cool, and um, it definitely, it definitely brings back nostalgia from last year. The camera and the directing angles were pretty freaking awesome, and I do have to say the effects, the way that Sky uses her powers, is really cool. It didn't look cheap; it looked really well done. Uh, the devices and the technology that are used by the Shield team. There are a few technologies, like again, what Simmons used. That was really interesting. And the set pieces where we go, like where Sky's at and where Coulson's at, other places. So the set pieces were really cool and well done. Overall, I'm going to give this episode of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 2, Episode 15, One Door Closes, an A-. minus. Secondarily, I'm going to give it a B plus. It's a great episode on the verge of just being a good episode. It has its good moments. It has its great moments. It definitely has its slow moments. But again, it's an episode where you could say, hey, this happened. This is when the real S.H.I.E.L.D. infiltrated Coulson's base. And it was pretty intense. Overall, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. See you for the next Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. review. Until next time, we'll spot be with you always.